Good evening. Welcome to the Credo TV show on NTA Channel 12. Uyo Enobon Bon Kofi is my name. On the show today, we will be taking you through some events. First, we will bring you away the funeral service of late Mrs. Benedict Joseph Akpan, which took place on the 21st of June 2019, as well as the naming ceremony of Little Miss Fortune in Sidibe Akpaidem. But first, as it is in our culture, we're going to go for a quick musical break, and when we return, the rest of the show continues. Let's do this together. Once again, you're welcome to the show. No be my power, say I buy a house. You a a heartache that no one can heal because the people we love even in death are always connected by heartstrings into infinity late mrs benedict joseph Appen meant different things to different people though it was a celebration of a life well lived family friends and loved ones could not hold back tears as she was laid onto eternal rest on Friday, June 21st, 2019, a service was conducted by St. Mary's Catholic Church, Ikotsensei and Mukot, Ikona local government area. The Reverend Father, while taking the homily, enumerated the special attributes of late Mrs. Benedict Joseph Arpan. The Bible uses death to describe the wrath of God on unbelievers in the afterlife. Revelation chapter 20 verse 14. This kind of death is sometimes called perishing. John 3, 16. 2 Peter 2, 12. Sometimes it is called destruction. Matthew chapter 10, verse 28. Second Thessalonians chapter 1, verse 19. So the dead that awaits the sinner at the Lord's last judgment is eternal. May God deliver my benefits and all the faithful departed from such death. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. In these seven years I spent in this community, I 
ever had this woman, child. I ever had this woman back. I ever had this woman complain. Despite the fact that she was very close to me, she never for once brought any complaint. She was contented. Ma Benedict, in the later part of her years, could not hear very well. Yes, she never stayed away from the church, from mass, from any activity. She will be one of the first persons. I am still picturing men in a canopy inside the church. First and second offertory was taken before the offertory procession by the deceased family. <laughs> celebration was observed. In about creation, we cannot have this white offer, fruit of the vital work of human hands, come for us a spiritual drink. May the be God forever.
went after condolence messages were acknowledged, the diseased family danced out in thanksgiving, and the elder son spoke passionately about your mother, late Mrs. Benedict Joseph Ekman, and thanked everyone on behalf of the family. <laughs> were done by the Real Breast Band and the choir in honor of late Mrs. Benedict Joseph Akpan. by people from different works of life. Then came that heartbreaking moment when the body of late Mrs. Benedict Joseph Ekman was lowered into her final resting place. <laughs> Late 
Mrs. Benedict Joseph Akpan was born in 1928 into the family of Akpan Akpakban in Opoto Nkwot in Ikona local government area. She was married to late Chief Joseph Akpan. The marriage was fruitful. Late Mrs. Benedict Joseph Akpan was caring and passionate towards all. She was a member of many social organizations and a leader of the women in her family. She was also a blessing to all who came in contact with her until her demise on the 7th of May 2019. Lots of good things were said about late Mrs. Benedict Joseph Akpan. I've been spent uh, 70 plus, uh, she's 91 years old. I want to thank God for all that kind of life well spent. Uh, for today that the weather has become so clement, uh, you know, at these times, the rain has been falling every time, but because of, uh, you know, the kind of faith, you know, the woman has, uh, has uh, while she was living, she was very loving and accommodating, and I'm sure God accommodated that. We are asking that God, who took the woman, the mother, away at this age, should also condole the family, help the family, protect and save them from any danger. That the mother is going to be a good person should serve them and also pray for them. Our prayer is that the Almighty God should serve us. Is I really appreciate God for giving our grandmother. She's a mother of peace. She is a mother, is a caring mother. So we really appreciate God. It has never happened in the history of uh, this area that such education will happen at this particular time. And the weather will be like this. There will be no rain. So that shows that God has really honored this woman. They say the end justifies the means. Today is the end. And it's so clement, it's so lovely, it's so wonderful. So what we say about the means? The means was good. She lived a good life. What a beautiful and strong woman. Very hard working indeed. What I would take back from her exit is the fact that she was a very humble woman. She was very honest. Then lived a life of contentment. She taught us by her actions to be satisfied with what we have. When we all started as poor children, it was very tough, but Ma was patient. Ma was humble. Ma bore any situation that came my way, but always and always trusting in God. And today, it has paid off. She has finished very strong. She has gone in part with everybody, everybody standing around to send her off. Oh, he has put in so much. The children are wonderful. You could see the first son well established. The second son well established. The third, all of them and their children. And that is what we want to do the next. People who can make a man in society can bring up their children so that they can become something. Today is a very important day in the life of a content man, the whole, and the family, no more family in particular, because of what we have said. The memory of late Mrs. Benedict Joseph Akban fondly called Ne will forever remain a treasure.
Carl Sandberg, who said that the baby is God's opinion that life should continue. A daughter is one of the most beautiful gifts this world has to give. Joy and laughter filled the hearts and lips of the family of Mr. and Mrs. Nsidabakpaidem as they invited family, friends, and loved ones to come join them in celebrating the birth and naming of their daughter. <laughs> This cute little angel was named Fortune in Sidibai Akpaidem on Friday 14 June 2019, seven days after her birth. The evening was truly fun-filled from good music, beautiful dance steps, great meals, drinks, exchange of pleasantries and comedies. Madam. I can see my brother from another mother. Hey, what? Your man gets set. Press comedy and shout out. Is a a quack cross. Pull him say me can see. Big boy. Big man. Over than them. Sing for them now. Sit and look back. Cause he made me. So we are long. We're having fun. Are you with me? Yes, he needs to be a good one. This great. Hey, baby. What are you doing to me, baby? Madam. It's gone. Me need a boom, boom, boom. The celebrants and family had this to say. Happy. This girl has brought so much joy to me. That is why I call her 14. 14. 14. 14 means cash, means prosperity, means success, long life, etc. etc. Thank you. The Cradle TV show celebrates with the family of Mr. and Mrs. Nsidabak Paidem and pray God to bless and keep baby fortune safe. Welcome back. This is where we draw the curtains on today's edition of the Cradle TV show. 
I honestly believe we made good company. Now we'll go to come back same time, same station next week. Keep it there with us as we return with something even better. Do have a blessed weekend.